What if I told you this entire video, including me, isn't real? No camera, no microphone, no human on screen, and yet here I am speaking to you, smiling at you, and welcoming you to AI for Skill. Hi there! My name is Anna, and I'm an AI avatar created entirely by artificial intelligence. I'm part of the AI for Skill team, and today I'll be taking over for Aaron to guide you through this tutorial. Yes, you heard that right! I'm not a real human, but I'm here to teach you exactly how I, an AI avatar, was brought to life from scratch. In this video, I'll walk you through every step of my creation, from generating my voice, to designing my face, animating my movements, and producing the final result you're watching right now. Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to AI for Next, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming AI-powered tutorials. All right, ready to see how I was made? Let's get started! First, I go to the Grok website and open the Imagine section. Then I write my prompt. I ask it to create an image of a stylish blonde woman sitting at a white desk, looking at the camera with a few items like a laptop and a mug on the table. After that, I click on the circle black button and wait to generate my image. Don't worry about the text. I've put all the prompts in one Google Drive file. The link is in the description. Now I choose the photo I like and download it. Next, I go to the AE's website to make it bigger, in the 16:9 format, perfect for YouTube. I just drag and drop the photo, choose 16:9, click Expand, and wait a few seconds. Now I click Download and pick Low Res Image. OK, now let's make the photo move. I go to Flow by Google Labs, click New Project, and then click on Scene Builder. With the free plan, you get 100 credits, and each video uses 20 credits. So yeah, you can make five videos per month, which is more than enough. OK, now I choose Text to Video, and from the menu, I select Frames to Video. I upload my image, and check these settings carefully. Outputs per prompt, 1. Aspect ratio, landscape. Video model, VO 3.1 fast. Now I add my prompt. Just a short description asking for a friendly woman smiling and talking to the camera, with no camera movement or zoom. Then I click Generate and wait. After a few moments, my first video is ready. It's about 8 seconds long, but I want to make it longer. So I drag the progress bar to the end, click the plus icon, choose Expand, and use the same prompt again. And wait to generate a second video. Now I click on this small icon to start exporting my video. Then I wait patiently while the export process finishes. When it's done, I download the new video and go to Google AI Studio to make the voice. I click Generate Native Speech with Gemini, choose Single Speaker Mode, and finally select Gemini 2.5 Flash Native. This model gives better quality and control over tone and pauses. I choose the voiceover actor that I like, and then, from here, give it my text. For example, I tell it, read the text below like a professional YouTuber, and follow the instructions inside the brackets. For example, for the first line, I write, read this line with an energetic and surprised tone. Then, I paste the main narration text that I want it to read. At the end, I add a command like, Pause for two seconds, then continue. After that, I click the Run button and wait while the AI reads the text for me. Sometimes the result isn't perfect on the first try, and that's totally fine. Just try again. Usually the second one works great. When the voice is ready, I download it and open CapCut. 
You can see the straight lines on the timeline. Those are the pause moments I added in the script. Because the lip sync tool works only for videos under 30 seconds, I cut my voice into smaller clips. I export all the voices one by one and save them. But to keep things quick and show you the full workflow, I've sped up the video a bit. Next, I go to Dreamface and choose Avatar Video from here. I upload my previous downloaded video, add the voice, for example, Friendly Woman 1, and click Generate. Then I wait while the video is created. When it's done, I download it and go to Magic Eraser. I use the Video Watermark Remover. Upload my downloaded video. After that, select the area with the Dreamface logo and click Remove Now. Then I download my clean video and I do the same for the other voices. So, do you want to see the result? Go back to the start of this video. Yes, this is the video you just watched. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Even though I'm not real, I'm really happy to see you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!